Thank you for joining me yet again for another unboxing video. And today we have the expansion for the Twilight Creations game Human. And this is obviously the second expansion called Humans 2 Seafood Survival of the Fittest. It's got that great artwork as it always does. Can zombies swim? Let's face it, when you were alive, this question never crossed your mind. And now that you're dead, well, the question still hasn't occurred to you. Although you may be able to answer it if you could think about something other than how hungry you are. Humans 2, seafood, lets you become a member of an elite zombie force, the, not the zombie navy. You never signed up for this. The, this expansion for the Humans board game adds all this new stuff. Of course, you need to have the the core set of humans to play this game. It was released in 2010, of course, by Twilight Creations Inc. and Twilight Creations Inc. Where fun comes to life. If you have more information, have more questions about about the game, you can always look at go on to their website, TwilightCreationsInc.com. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what we got inside. And we have the rule book, as usual. It's the four page rule book for most of the uh, Zombies expansions and I'll see for the twi most Twilight Creation um, expansions. Um, if you've watched my previous videos, you'll see that they normally only have a four um, page rule book, which is always great. It lets you get right into the game very, very quickly. Uh, so it has a little background information. Then of course it tells you what the new components are, what your objective is, what your setup is, player turn, how to set up the initial board, using dice tokens, additional rules, frequently asked questions, a sample board layout, specific card questions, how does the card not fast enough work, does no time to aim affect switchblade or the hammer weapons? Special ability questions. How does the lawyer special ability work? When it says that the game, that the ability can be used only once, is it once per zombie or just one time per game? Do over token questions. Does my movement have to end on a token to pick it up? And that's the rule book. And you have some new cards. New character, the naval officer, with all the stats on it. Of course, again, it's easy to recognize what set, you know, if you combine this with the core set, of course, it tells you right there, the title, bottom right-hand corner, tells you the title of the expansion, which means that you can, when it's time to clean up, it's easy to identify which cards go with which boxes. And of course, all the backs have this on. So that's new character, character. The event deck, again, all the same. We've got bad aim, deportation. Play this card from your hand to immediately move target player zombies to the center space of the island tile. Dress whites. Following orders. Play this card from your hand. No humans may be moved until the end of your next turn. NCIS. Seasickness. The Funk of 40,000 Years. Play this card from your hand. Send all zombie figures on your current tile to the obstacle course tile. If the distance, the, if the obstacle course that tile has not yet been revealed, you may not play this card. Zombie Overboard. Play this card from your hand to immediately move one of your zombie figures to any ship tile space. And there you have your event. Deck. Of course, you've got more tiles. Here they are. 
Again, the great thing about the tiles, all of the information you have is right up here. Again, the title of the game has a two on it, so you know that if you combine the two, you can put it away real quick. Uh, how many humans are on the board and all the other things that you got there. All right, so there you go. Again, these spaces, you can't put anything in them when they start off. They can only go in the white squared spaces. Again, it's a three by three tile, as you can tell. Nine total spaces, but only these are where you put all your items in, where the white boxes are. Out here, the player can move around in here, but again, the items can only be placed in here. Okay, so you got recall, supply depot, four way intersection, another four way intersection, another four way intersection, the pier. more of the pier, the barracks, family housing, the front gate, an obstacle course, NCIS headquarters, the medical center, The destroyer, supply ship, and the island. That's all of your tiles. And last but not least, you get a couple, you get one uh, new brand new sculpt for this game. And you get 10 of these characters. There they are. Get a total of 10 of these. These represent this character here, which is your naval officer. There you have it. Put, whoop, I was going to say put them on the aisles. And there you have it. And that concludes this unboxing for Humans 2 Seafood. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, give us a like, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe to our page. Again, thank you for watching the video. Be safe, be well, and enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.